Now, from the University of Okaboji, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff D. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. Coming to you from historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park, and I'm just happy to have here with me this is really the salt of the Iowa Great Lakes. Dick Swanson's here with me with the Salt Patrol, which Dick is uh, seniors and lawmen together. Seniors and lawmen together, a volunteer organization. Uh, we are uh, patrolling the uh, 50 plus bike miles of bike trail um, every day. Uh, we have a group that goes out in the morning and a group that goes out in the afternoon. Uh, Mostly volunteers, uh, are all volunteers, but mostly retired people. Yeah. Um, and uh, our job is to uh, be on the trails, promote uh, safety, yeah. good trail riding, uh, look for infractions of rules, and uh, make recommendations about how to correct those. You know, and we're trying to, you were saying how long SALT, Sheriff Greg Balloon uh, initiated this, uh, years ago. Was it the first in the country, you said? I think, uh, if I remember right, uh, Greg has said it was the first uh, group of this nature in the country yeah. to uh, uh, volunteer uh, patrol on, on bike trails. Uh, it's uh, right at 30 years it's been in existence. Um, and uh, some of the old timers, uh, I think uh, just the last few years uh, have finally retired, but uh, yeah. We still have many that were pretty close to the start, too. And think about, from 30 years ago, what our trails look like, Dick, <laughs> to the expansion uh, that we have seen from the Dickens County Trails Association. That, that makes a lot of patrolling, doesn't it? I was looking at uh, some information just a short while back. The, the Spine Trail, which basically is the main trail that goes up uh, uh, from Milford to uh, Spirit Lake, was the original trail, and that was about... Uh, seven or eight miles of trail to start with and then maybe 14 or 15. Now we're uh, over 50 uh, with completion of the section from Lake Park Yep. Uh, coming to Montgomery. We'll have a trail all the way to Lake Park yeah. by the end, of, by the end of, the, of the summer, the way it looks. So. Now does that call for the more trails we get and with people you know, leaving and done their service and so forth, Dick, a need for uh, more people to come forward and maybe volunteer to do this? We always are looking for volunteers. Uh, when I started riding about 10 years ago, we just had the one section, one group of trail riders who patrolled the what we call the Spine Trail yeah. uh, with the uh, advent of the trail around uh, the west side of the lake on Highway 86. We split off and we have now the west group of riders. We have uh, two machines stationed over there and we have two machines stationed on the east side. So, um, the riders uh, patrol both sides of the lake. Mm -hmm. Actually, sometimes we intersect each. <coughs> excuse me. We intersect each other as they'll be coming around the lake from the north to south, and we're going the other way and on the uh, new trail. The uh, behind High V that yeah. goes to Montgomery. We'll we'll see each other there. Yeah. yeah. Now, typically, like uh, in the course of a, a week, how often are you out there? And uh, we have a. Generally, we have enough riders that um, <clears throat> we ride. I ride every other week. I share uh, Thursday mornings with, a, with my good friend Bernie Van Rokel. Yeah. And um, if one of us has a conflict, the other will fill in. But uh, uh, so every other week, uh, I'm on the trail, um, and that's for the most part the way it is. We have a, some married couples who ride together. Um, uh, we're not uh, male dominated. We have several gals who ride and uh, enjoy doing it. So. Uh, always opportunities for everybody to get involved. And you've got uh, beautiful Polaris ATVs. Do uh... Polaris ATVs? We're looking to replace uh, one of them this fall. Yeah. Uh, Greg has a connection with uh, Polaris, and uh, I think he gets a deal on what they call the executive model. Sometimes. Ah, so oh, sweet! <laughs> the, the executives have been using. And, yeah. yeah. So. Um, the the training involves uh, proper use of the machines, mm -hmm. how to ride them, how to. Uh, uh, plan your course. We have uh, two sections, uh, one morning section, one afternoon section, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. And uh, So you're not overloaded with, as a volunteer, overloaded with no. hours and days. And, and during that period, of, you don't have to ride the entire time, you know. Some mornings, uh, I'll start, I start, I like to start early, I'm a morning person. Sure. Uh, 7.30 and I'll ride to 11 or something like that. And if something's coming up, you know, you, you cut it a little bit shorter, but uh, 
there's flexibility. It's not mandatory that you raid the full uh, time that's there. That's right. just the breakdown of how the machines need to be back in the shed for the next rider. So. Now, what do you typically see as far as things that you have to interact with out there, Dick? Well, one of the biggest problems we're seeing, and we're not seeing a lot of it, but golf carts on the trail. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the rules are no motorized vehicles. With the advent of electric assist bicycles, that's they're perfectly acceptable. Yes. And, uh, you know, some, some, of, the, some of us uh, who like to ride regular bicycles uh, have finally decided that when the time comes, we'll probably use electric yeah. bicycles, too. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a way to keep people on the trails. Exactly. Um, and, of course, the trails are just not uh, for bikes, uh, rollerblades, uh, scooters, uh, walking, everything. Yeah. And the people, it's just, a, it's just a real pleasure to see people out there enjoying the trail. This time of morning uh, on the trails, uh, I just enjoy visiting with people that I see yeah. and, and uh, finding out where they're from and what they're doing. Yeah. Are you, if someone's dehydrated or something, do you have water or something you can give them? Or, uh... We generally have some water in the, uh, in the machines in our yeah. toolbox. Uh, we have a limited supply of tools. Uh, I remember one, one day a couple years ago, a, a young man was having trouble with one of his pedals and I had a, enough tools we could get that fixed for him. <laughs> but that's, uh, you know, that's just an incidental thing that we have. I, uh, machines all have air pumps too. Uh, my experience has been when you have a flat tire on a bike, all you're doing is pushing air through it and it doesn't really solve the problem, but, right. <laughs> but it's there. Yeah, but it sounds you know, like, it, I was going to say, you know, and I, I know several of uh, the great people doing this and just, you guys enjoy it. We do, we yes. do. I, one of my favorite things to do now is on the, on the uh, Tatanka Scott Trace Trail. As you get toward Montgomery, there are benches along the way, and there's one shady spot. And I like to just pull the machine off the side and just park there and, and visit with people as they come by. Yeah. Visited with a couple a couple weeks ago that were from the uh, Des Moines area that had never been on the trail system, and they were just amazed at how much uh, we had and how, how much fun they could have. And nature, the, the birds. Uh, yeah. I've got some fantastic pictures of uh, deer and fawns and everything. I, you're riding along, and all of a sudden, there they are, and you, you just stop and, and enjoy it. it. It's a nice aspect of the island. Iowa Great Lakes, when people from Des Moines, wherever think of Okaboji, of course, they're thinking of our blue lakes. Yep. But our trail system puts you in a, a whole new venture of uh, nature. Yes. And, uh, you know, when we talk to people, that's one of the things that attracts them is the trail system. Yeah, it has become, since uh, with this expansion over the years, Dick, uh, people come here for the trails yeah. themselves because yeah. of. of and, Great work to come. I know the Aaron Reed. They're working hard on uh, uh, where it's going to go from here, and so we're we're so lucky to have them. If there are those, because it just I can tell you enjoy it. The other volunteers enjoy it. If people like to have something to do and uh, something they can interact with people, enjoyable. You're yeah. out amongst nature. How do you go about becoming a volunteer, then, Dick? Well, one of the things that uh, I I try and stress when I meet people is volunteerism and uh, you know we've all had opportunities in our lives somebody's helped us out and uh, I look at this as an opportunity to pay back yes uh, I taught uh, ag business at Iowa Lakes Community College for 24 years and I always encourage my students to get involved in community activities yes. and this is this is a great community activity somebody who uh, who is looking for an opportunity to do something this is a great one we you know once a week, once every other week. It doesn't require a lot of time. Yeah. It's relaxing. It's uh, it's fun. Uh, if you're interested in doing this, uh, you can contact the uh, Dickens County Sheriff's Office, uh, Greg Balloon, and uh, he will get you hooked up and uh, ready to go. Uh, one of the things that... Uh, you want to make sure you can do is be able to drive a four-wheeler, but most of us can do that. <laughs> we have the side-by-sides, and we have the ones that you sit on, the straddle, uh -huh. and uh, I like to use both of them. Uh, the four-wheeler, you can with the side-by-side, -side, you can put your coffee cup in there and have that way you're going. <laughs> the one you straddle isn't quite so handy that way, but uh, lots of uh, lots of uh, fun and opportunity for people who are interested in volunteering. It's a great way to give back and very appreciated by many, many people on the trails and, and those of us who live here, Dick. So thank you for your what you do and your volunteerism, and uh, thank you to all the people involved with SALT as well. well thank you for doing this, and uh, hopefully somebody will... Uh, 
feel the, the emotion to, to do this and uh, go ahead and contact the sheriff's office. You know what I always say, if, if you wanted to see the world come to a sudden halt, everybody in the world who's volunteering says, I'm not doing it. <laughs> the <laughs> world right. would come to a complete stop. Volunteer, volunteers make it happen. That's exactly right. Again, our thanks to Dick Swanson here from SALT. That is Seniors and Lawmen Together, and you have your opportunity to give back to volunteer and have a great time as well. Our thanks to Dick for being here with us. We thank you for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by the Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake, Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, A.J. Spielman, and Erica Wachholz. The headquarters of the University of Okaboji is at the Three Suns, open Monday through Saturday 10 to 5 and Sunday from 10 to 4. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Ruth Van Locker at the Lake, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. B Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. 